Thank you for being here today. We're coming together for a day and a half, which is really a great opportunity to slow down a little bit and think big and think more broadly than we often do. I think we've realized over the years that sometimes it's not so much about the answers as it is about the questions. I'm interested in finding out what you see from where you sit. Give some thought to what significant innovations did you see in the leasing industry? Automated credit scoring. E-signature and documentation, e-documents, or having everything in an electronic vault. Credit databases. It's about how to harness technology, how to harness data. I have a new and different generation of workers. Who's going to be running this industry in a while? I think it's going to be a very different profile. There's such an amazing variety of perspectives here in this room. So even though those technologies might not be impacting you yet, part of the discussion that we're here to have is, is will they and how? The Industry Future Council meeting is an annual event where we bring together about 20 leaders of businesses throughout the equipment finance industry. And we really take a long-term look at where the industry is going, what type of developments are occurring, and what might happen in the future. I had curiosity, and so what was going on out in the sort of bigger world outside of Madison Capital. Our management, our partners, are very entrepreneurial. And I was very interested to hear about future technologies that will impact our industry. Now, customers want more. They say, okay, I want, I want the uptime. If the uptime's not there, then I get an offset. Really, the, the leadership here is thinking about the industry differently. How to harness that energy, how to harness the new technology, and really the, the things that are disrupting how we lend money. Put your phone into your cardboard viewer and you look through it this way. Oh, that is so cool. When I put on the Google Cardboard, I felt that I was experiencing reality in a very different way. You could certainly see uh, an application being used in the financial industry. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it made me think about what I can use that to do like role playing for training staff. Uh, working with customers through scenarios that are typical and common. We really don't know how this is going to impact our world. The finance industry needs to tap other knowledge bases. And when those knowledge bases connect with the finance knowledge base, we'll create something new. That is absolutely key for our companies in the future, that we can bring in that talent that will think differently, look at things in a new way and that we as the older generation of leaders can help transition that company for the future. One of the greatest skills that you could have going into this exponential age is the ability to unlearn and relearn. We have a lot more change coming at us and it's coming faster than ever before. How do we prepare ourselves as leaders and how do we prepare our teams to be ready for this? Listening to other people talk about the future, it really sparks a whole new way of thinking, a lot of different perspectives, well worth a couple of days of investment. It's important for me to invest within the foundation uh, to see where we can make an impact collectively.